This is old Cam. And this is not a spring chicken today. We're going to talk about something pretty controversial that you've been hearing in the news. Yeah, it's actually got to do with the United States basically handing its superpower status over to the Soviet Union. Like, what were you thinking? Okay, the Soviets have been a superpower. Or they are a superpower, whether... Whether, whether we want to admit it or not. But why do we have to do something like that? We basically gave it all to them. Well, there's a bit of a problem to begin with. First of all, the President of the United States is a socialist. And it is a socialist government, so why do you think he may have done it? Mm -hmm. And he really, remember the President of the United States is the one that told the world we are not exceptional people. So to do a speech saying about American exceptionalism, that didn't, that was hard to the stomach even by a lot of Democrats. But, um, you mean after you gave the other speech? Yeah, and then um, what he did, mm -hmm. I mean, he, he blew it, he lost his temper on national TV this morning about his critics saying that, uh, you know, okay, here's the problem. Okay, where was the United States, was Obama ever going to get permission to bomb the Syrians from our Congress? He thought he was. Mm, well, everybody, uh, they had a, a thing last night with nothing but Democrats on a meeting on one of the Democratic channels. They simply, the pollster asked, is there anyone in this room that did not know before the Syrian announcement that they had chemical weapons, that they had chemical weapons, and everybody in the room kept their hands down. Mm -hmm. The whole world knew they had chemical weapons, okay. Uh, or is there anyone in this room that thought that Congress was going to give the President of the United States the authority to bomb Syria? Um, once again, there were no hands up. And he said, and, and then the President of the United States basically caused the reporter that was interviewing, who's on the left, very left, when the President of the United States was asked, uh, He's president of the United States. Well, it would, I mean, he was tired of his critics, you know, saying that this was a you know mistaken disaster. He said it was my threat of attacking Syria, and then he said, "Yeah, but it, a Syrian president basically speaks English better than we do. He was educated here in England. He said that he knew that we were not going to bomb Syria, and he said, well, it was the threat that I was going to do it. He said that he knew we weren't going to bomb. Syria. He said that uh, I." I was going to bomb Syria, was basically, he, he, once again, he didn't say the country was, he said he was. Mm -hmm. So, hey, remember Congress? He intends to do whatever he wants to do regardless, but then a good thing too, is that he also got a, he's got to get a resolution passed that basically legitimizes the Assad government, says that the UN will never attack Syria over anything, and it will take at least by the United Nations estimates this morning, a minimum of 10 years. We're, we're, been, we're nine years in on the Libyan chemical weapons and haven't got half of them done yet. Mm -hmm. And we've got a war going on. Mm -hmm. you got to wear a little blue helmet. Okay, here's the trick is, the President of the United States said no boots on the ground, didn't he? Well, was he supposed to be talking in future tense? Because it had already happened. Yeah, but who do you think has to do most of the chemical... Uh, the demobile, the, you know, the, the destruction of the chemical weapons. Mm -hmm. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. And the president has already swore to Congress there would be no boots on the ground. What was he swearing on, though? Well, he wasn't swearing on a Koran. And there's the problem is. That he, here's the problem with our president. You know, um, he basically is very good. Uh, here, um, uh, a mo He is a Muslim. I don't understand why he wants to hide the fact because there's... We've, we've, you know, we've elected Catholics. Mm -hmm. We haven't elected Jew yet, but that's coming. There's no reason why he shouldn't say he was the first Muslim elected because nobody could have cared. But if, my guess is, if you give the President of the United States a Koran to put his hand on, he would not swear on the Koran mm -hmm. because that would swearing if you're a Muslim and you lie on the Bible, that's no big deal. It is lying on the Bible because they don't believe in it anyway. But um, this is a disaster for the United States. You know, they said, well, the Russians have to enforce this or their credibility is going to be shot. There, you know, Monty Bellamy's Bellamism was the other day, is if you have no credibility to begin with, you have nothing to lose. No one believes anything the Russians say. Russians are basically a Cossack. Cossacks lie. It's convenient to them. They have lied from the day, okay. Uh, remember, these are the same people that basically wanted to kill Peter the Great because he tried to bring him into the modern world. And that was like a zillion years ago, their version of a modern world. And it's, uh, so these are the people that Stalin executed, like 48 million people because they wanted, to, uh, they wanted the old ways, not the new ways. These, yeah, are, kind of. these are the people that basically do not want to go into the 21st century. 
Oh, and yeah. for everybody's for everybody's uh, information, it looks like the Soviets are building six brand new, massive Polaris missile launching submarines that are capable of any submarine for destroying the entire universe. Mm -hmm. That all came to an end under the Republicans and under the Democrats. It's now full blow again. Mm -hmm. So they said, has the President of the United States made the world a safer place with his screwing around with uh, with Syria? Are, there, are they, according to the Jews, will the uh, Iranians have a nuclear missile to play, a nuclear bomb to play with within the next two months? I thought they already did. Oh yeah, but they got the ones that they, they you know, they're gonna get, they're gonna have the one they're actually gonna show off because they know, they know that the President of the United States is a paper lion. A paper lion? It means he basically has no, nothing behind him. He's just, it, this is, it's this, like a stage set. This is all it is, the President of the United States has no power to do anything because he made an, he made a strategic gamble and got laughed at by the entire world. They're all laughing wow. at him. I got people. Who well, was Republicans and the Democrats laughing? I know. As well as all the other. Oh, countries. all of the Democrats. I mean, this is what I heard the other night from a really big time liberal Democrat, Democrat comedian. He said that people have said repeatedly that a president of the United States, when he takes office, is firmly set in his ways. He said, I will guarantee you that after five plus years, He's that five him. plus years, that this president, Barack Hussein Obama, has learned to Putin. He's what? Learned to Putin. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was called an insult to the president, folks. But um, this, is, this is the thing. It's a disaster for our country. It makes us look weak. It makes the president look bad. But then again, if it's been the desire of the President of the United States to make us look bad and weak. Then he's been successful. Then he's been very successful. And Although some people are starting to think that's that, that was intention. Yeah, but not Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly is still the President's biggest supporter, and Juan Williams and Bob Beckel. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, here's the trick is, for everybody that thinks that, the, the, that Fox News is right wing, look at all the people that are working at Fox News now, and the people that are gone. Fox News is shifting rapidly to the left every day. They're adding more and more people on the left. They're adding people. The people on the right are being removed from their shows so people on the left can take them over. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. the media is shifting leftwards. And this isn't left to center on Fox. This is pure left that they're moving. So, and Bill O'Reilly leads the charge. I mean, I'm going to explain something to people. You got the, uh, Doctors Without Borders said that 399 people were killed by an attack. The President of the United States cannot, okay, I've heard military leaders from the Pentagon say that we cannot guarantee that this was not done by the rebels in order to get the United States to act, the gas attack. Next, um, the, you know, they said that, um, that the people on the left are moving towards the center, <laughs> the center is moving to the left. <laughs> so until Till next time, I guess this is okay. Yeah. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, and you can go to www.montybubbles.net on the net or to our main site, which is www.montybubbles.net. Mm -hmm. Wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the internet. And please do follow us on social media. <laughs>